So let's work through an example so you can see how to use this formula to calculate a proper time interval. So the scenario is shown on the screen. Anastasia and Beowulf are hanging out, and Anna decides to go for a trip around the Earth in her rocket ship. And she goes around the Earth exactly once at a constant speed of 0 0.9. And we want to know how long does this trip take? What's the time interval between uh, departure and return? Um, how long does that trip take according to Beowulf at rest on the Earth? And according to Anna, who is circling the Earth? And the circumference of the Earth is approximately um, 40,000 kilometers. All right, so let's um, start by drawing uh, just a very simple picture of what's going on. So we've got Beowulf um, hanging out on Earth, and then um, Anna is going to go in a big circle. And the circumference of the Earth is this. So that's how far um, Anna travels. And the speed of Anna is 0 0.9. OK. So the first thing I'm going to do is deal with this over here, 40,000 kilometers. We want to get everything into special relativity units. So I'm going to convert 40,000 kilometers into meters, and then meters into seconds. So 40,000 kilometers. Well, they're 10 to the 3 meters in one kilometer. So kilometers will cancel. And let's see, 40,000 is 10 to the 4. There are 1, 2, 3, 4 zeros here. So I have 4 times 10 to the 4 times 10 to the 3, the exponents add. So this is 4 times 10 to the 7 meters. And you can do that on a calculator as well if you, if you want. All right, so now let's convert meters into seconds. So we've got this amount of meters. And the conversion is the speed of light. One light second is 3 times 10 to the 8th meters. So the speed of light is 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. So 1 light second is 3 times 10 to the 8 meters. So let's, let's do this out. Um, we could do it on a calculator. You could also do it without. 7 over 8 is minus 1. 4 over 3 is 1.333. So this is going to be 0 0.1333. But, um, we can do that on a calculator just to be sure. Indeed. 0 0.133 seconds. Okay. So this is delta x according to Anna. Excuse me, according to Beowulf. So Beowulf, here on Earth, sees Anna go all the way around the Earth. Beowulf knows the Earth circumference is this, which is that. All right, so now we want to know, um, according to Beowulf, how long does it take Anna to make this journey? And so there, we can just use distance equals rate times time. Beowulf knows how fast Anna's going and knows how far Anna's going. So we can use that to figure out how long it takes Anna to make that trip. All right. So, so distance, I'll write it this way, distance equals rate times time. Um, so speed times time interval tells you how far you went. We want to find delta t in this case. So delta t is delta x over the speed. Delta x we just found, that's 0 0.133 seconds. The speed is, <clears throat> is 0 0.9. So 0 
133 divided by 0 0.9 equals 0 0.148 seconds. So notice that the time is a little bit larger than the distance. And that makes sense. Um, Anna is traveling a little slower than the speed of light. If she was traveling at the speed of light, which would be impossible, but if she was, she would um, travel 1 point, uh, 0.133 seconds of distance and 0.133 seconds of time. She's slower, so it takes her a little longer to travel that distance. All right. So that's the scene, or the, well, the time interval, according to Beowulf. But what about Anna? Well, Anna is experiencing a proper time. Anna is present at both events, arrival and departure, but her clock is most definitely not inertial because um, she's going in a big circle. It's not constant velocity, but her speed is constant. So that means that we can use this formula. So this will be the um, time interval according to Anna. All right, so delta t, we have that. Um, that's the time interval for the same thing, arrival and departure of Anna, but in uh, Beowulf's reference frame, and then we have a V, so we can plug everything in and we'll um, get the proper time. So this is going to be 1 minus 0 0.9 squared times delta T. Delta T is 0 0.148 seconds. All right, so let's evaluate this square root thing. Definitely going to need a calculator for that. 1 minus 0.9 squared equals square root 0 0.436. 0 0.436 times 0 0.148 seconds. So notice that this number is less than 1. I said in the previous video, that this square root thing is always going to be less than one. So, um, if in, all right, so it's always less than one. So what that means is, is that we've got a number less than one multiplying by this, which means delta tau is going to be smaller than delta t. So let's multiply these numbers together, get our final answer. 0 0.436 times 0 0.148, and I get 0 0.065 seconds. So that's my delta tau. So this is um, the time that Anna experiences. So if Anna says, I depart at time zero, zips around the Earth, and, when she, and um, the moment of her return her clock is going to show that 0 0.065 seconds have elapsed. Whereas Beowulf would disagree and say, no, 0 0.148 seconds has elapsed. A longer time for Beowulf than for Anna. So this is an example showing you how we can use this formula to figure out the proper time.